and we're back. Last time we achieved our guardian rank three. We completed all of these. And today what we're going to be working on is guardian rank four. As a reminder, we're making our way to fire team finder. You have to be guardian rank five to be able to use it. So I'm making my way through the free to play game <clears throat> so I can unlock fire team finder and use that to uh, see what other uh, free activities there are. We already have maybe about six hours of gameplay. Obviously it's a little bit slow because there's some commentary on it, but um, there's a few more hours of story at least and then as many more hours as you want of uh, PvP or PvE or there's raids, there's dungeons, I think a dungeon, strikes, patrols, bounties, lost sectors. Today we're going to do some <clears throat> different subclass stuff. We're going to unlock our first alternate subclass. We're also going to look at some gun related stuff, updating guns and all of that. We see this is our Guardian Rank 4 stuff. Eventually, next time, we'll be taking on Guardian Rank 5. We'll be uh, getting an exotic weapon, applying a catalyst to it. We're going to be doing some Vanguard bounties. And then we're going to. Hopefully, at that point, we'll have collected all of these items. Uh, we need to collect some different legendary weapons and guns. I'm still trying to decide what's the first uh, thing I'm going to do, Fireteam Finder. I might try the dungeon first. It's one I'm familiar with, I've done before. <clears throat> But then there's a couple of raids that I have some interest in trying out as well. We're already up to level 1685 on my Titan. We're going to start off with going to... <clears throat> Ghost of the Deep is available if you have uh, Lightfall or the Dungeon Key. Crota's End is available. This is one that's available to all players. It's a remake of a Destiny 1 raid. Moments of Triumph is currently going on. I think that's open to everybody. And Riven's Wish is open... I'm not exactly sure if that's open to everyone or not. And here's a splash image for Lightfall. We're not going to get it right now. So I'm going to head to the tower. Actually, I want to take a look and see... What do I want to see? Maybe there's not a dungeon. Um, all right, head to the tower. While we're doing this. I'm going to upgrade my Ross Arago to 1691. I've been enjoying that as a <clears throat> assault rifle weapon. So remember, we open it up, go down to infuse, and then if we have an upgrade module, we'll just dismantle for infusion. And now our Ross Arago is at a higher level. 
If you want to make sure you don't accidentally delete it, you mouse over it and click down on the right stick. Notice in the bottom right it says that you can now unlock it. So I'm going to do that. You can, it's a way to make sure you don't accidentally delete stuff that you want to keep. All right. We need to complete learning light, purchase aspects, and purchase fragments. Um, let's see what our inventory looks like. We have 108,000 glimmer. I think we might be able to do some of that. Let me go get a couple bounties. Hello, Guardian. See what he's got for us today. Powerful combatants, super kills, stasis kills, I don't know if we'll get any of those, and finishers. I'll get those. Those seem a lot to do with the playlists, the Vanguard playlist. I don't know if we're doing that today, but if we get this stuff done in time, then I, I probably will. Pick up my gunsmith bounties. Ooh, this was one of the things we had to do today. Bow, which we don't have yet. Sidearm, rocket launcher. And kinetic weapon. Keep the wall strong. Alright. I'm gonna go over here and see if we can go ahead and pick up some of these additional aspects and fragments. Remember we go to Ikora Ray for that. I'm gonna open up our quests and see where we are with our uh, learning what quests. Because I think we actually might have gotten some of those last time. Um, yeah, we actually did. We got the... We can unlock Sunbreaker, which is the uh, solar subclass, and Sentinel, which is the void subclass. Ooh. Oh, that's a tough one. I don't know which what one I'll get. Gazing into the abyss. The pole of the void has attracted many guardians with unorthodox worldviews. It remains a uniquely perplexing manifestation of the light, Ikora says, gazing at a swirl of violet particles rising from the palm of her hand. Perhaps this mystery is what enamors so many light bearers. Perhaps it is the unquenchable thirst with which the void consumes our enemies. She snaps her fingers, and the particles coalesce in us into a singularity that blinks out of existence. To seek the truth of the matter is to join venerated orders of void wielders, night stalkers, void walkers, sentinels. If this is your path, guardian, walk it carefully. Stoking the flame. I see you've grown accustomed to your new powers. The lingering flame of solar light has consumed many of my foes, Ikora says with a smile. For a moment, you think you see a flicker of red and orange in the depths of her gaze, but she blinks, and it's gone. The nature of solar light is to grow, she continues. It is an ember that must be stoked. Kindle it with your enemies, guardian. And wielder of the flame, wielders of the flames will welcome you, be they Titan Sunbreakers, Warlock Dawn, Dawn Blades, or Hunter Gunslingers. We'll go ahead and get both of those. And then I believe these are uh, some quests we can do to get some exotic gear. We're not going to do these today, but we will at some point. Taming the Storm. Ikora looks up at your approach. You have already felt the chaotic surge of arc light. It is only the start to a deeper understanding. There are many applications of arc, but I want you to focus on the ability to jolt. Jolted targets will chain lightning to others nearby, an excellent way to clear the battlefield quickly. Ikora gives you an encouraging smile. Be patient, Guardian. Arc light can be chaotic and demanding. Return when you have more experience with Jolt, and I will guide you down the path of a greater power. Nice. And then while I'm here, we can actually go ahead and get uh, these 
uh, quests for these other exotics. We're not going to do them right now, but we'll have them just in case. It's yours. Exalting the flame. Imagine the gentle warmth of dawn escalating to the blazing fury of the midday sun. Ikora extends her hands as if catching sunlight in her open palms. That is the essence of solar light. A balm to your friends and a scourge to your foes. For now, focus on using solar to scorch your targets. Those you scorch will burn over time and can even ignite with repeated applications of scorch. Ikora folds her hands once more. There is no substitute for practice, and solar light may take some time to learn. Return when you have mastered Scorch, and I will guide you down the path to a greater power. And then finally, into the abyss. Then take it. Ah, a fellow practitioner of void light. I hope that in time, you come to regard the cosmic abyss with as much fascination and awe as I do. A warm, almost wistful smile flickers across Ikora's face. Mastery will come with time and practice. For the moment, focus on Void's ability to weaken your targets. Weakened foes have a harder time fighting back, giving you an, an immediate advantage. Ikora gives you a piercing look, suddenly stern. A word of caution, Guardian. Do not emulate me when I was younger. Brash, proud, and impatient. Void light is as subtle as it is potent, and it will take time to master weaken. Return when you have done so, and I will guide you down the path of a greater power. Cool. Then here are a couple quests that we need uh, some... Uh, additional things for that we don't have access to right now. All right, we're going to... Let's see. Maybe I'll go with Void for now. So we hit Start, and we come up here, and notice we now have access to these two. We've got Sentinel and Sunbreaker. So I'm going to put on Sentinel. I'll put on Sunbreaker real quick just to say we did. But um, So we're going to open this up. Pardon me. And notice we're going to have some different options. We've got times. some of them are similar, but some of them are different. We start off with a towering barricade like we did before. Start off with catapult lift. Shield throw, which is new. We had a sort of punch or a shoulder charge last time, um, but now we've got a shield that we're going to throw around. We've got a magnetic grenade and a couple different options of grenades that we can buy. And then we actually start with an aspect here. Uh, so this one, hitting a target with a void ability or volatile explosion makes them Your volatile. Loyalty to Further the damage to a volatile target causes them to explode. Missed. Grants you and nearby allies health when they explode near you. Awesome. So we'll put on that one. And then we have an option to put on a fragment down here. Let's uh, Final blows when surrounded by combatants grant super energy. And then our uh, super ability here is Sentinel Shield. Are these the same? I guess so. Um, Do you have knowledge so when we use our super, we can actually uh, throw a shield. Um, we can attack with the shield, so sort of hit people with it. Or we can um, use it to block, uh, block damage. He deserves some peace. While we're here, we're going to buy a couple. We have to yes, buy... Couple of aspects and a couple of fragments. Let's uh, let's go ahead and buy some new stuff for Void. Um, we need three fragments, so let's see. Some of these fragments also give you stats. Notice this one gives you plus ten resilience. Melee final blows start health regen. That could be kind of good. Your Void grenades weaken targets. Defeating weakened targets create an orb of power and a Void breach. And then some of these require... Okay, so some of these we don't have access to yet. So we'll just actually go ahead and buy the ones we have access to right now. Very well. And I got our three... Uh, our three aspects we had to buy. And then fragments, I think we need to get two fragments. Oh, wait. Two aspects. So here, we're just going to buy the two of these. Um... 
Bastion. Cast your super to grant overshield to nearby allies. And then when we cast a barricade, it grants overshield to us and our nearby allies, empowering it. Cool. So, and if people, yes, if you and your course. buddies hide behind it, then um, you get a shield. Uh, we'll buy this one, but we're not going to use this one right now. Well, you have an overshield or inside Ward of Dawn, your grenade charges faster. You have increased melee range and damage. And you also gain an additional shield throw. Honestly, that could be kind of good. All right, we're going to get those two. Um, and remember, uh, when you buy these, you don't automatically have access to them. You have it's to come over shoulders. here to the meditation machine. So we're going to meditate. Now we have access to these. We'll hit start, come back up here to the Sentinel subclass, and then we get to decide what we want to do. Good to see you. Hmm. Do we want barricade, grant overshield? I will have answers. Or do we want... Oh, man. Let's actually do these two. So we're going to put on casting our super grants and overshield and casting a barricade grants an overshield, and then over here, this one, whenever we have an overshield, our grenade recharges faster. That'll be kind of nice. And then actually, I'm gonna pick, there's a grenade that I really like what out of here. Teach me? That I think we can buy. I'm gonna buy this one, the Vortex Grenade. Yes, of There's course. a couple other options here you can take a look at. I'm going to go with this one. Be well. We get it. We meditate. And then we're going to come here and we're going to equip that. Cool. Oh, yeah. We forgot to put on our aspects. Our fragments. So void grenades Perhaps we can target. Perhaps the harmony in the tower can lead to unity in the warlock order. Melee final blows start health Perhaps regen. Yes. And defeating targets creates an orbs of power, orb of power, and a void breach. Cool. All right, so that actually got quite a bit of stuff done that we needed to. Let's go take a look and see. Nice weather, isn't it? Friends. We're gonna have to do this spark of hope. I think that's today. No, what have that's you not today. Um, let's see. Let's go to Journey. Oh, patience. Sorry. We must go to be Guardian safe. Ranks. And we see... Let's see. We've purchased this. We've completed a light subclass. And we've purchased Aspects. And then also, from the Gunsmith, we oh, have sorry. talked to Banshee. We need to collect legendary Just shards, complete bounties from the gunsmith, and purchase weapons from him. I must have lost track of time. Hello. And then finally, we need to apply shaders to our gear and equip a economic or tracking module to our ghost, which I think we've done, but um, Watch out. I guess we can try it again and see. So let's take a look and see. Okay, we did that. Apply the economic or tracking module. And then it says to apply three shaders. I wonder if we can just do the same shader on everybody or something's missing here. Let's put this guy on our helmet. These people are friends. Friends, right? Let's put this guy on our arms. Let's mix it up. Let's put this light blue one on our body. Your wilting loyalty to the vanguard is not going unnoticed. And while we're at it, let's let's finish this out. We'll put this guy on our Titan mark. And 
And let's do this guy on our boots. Chance there are any bears up here is very You have questions. Cool. He looks kind of sick. So one of the things that we actually just unlocked, and I didn't even realize it was going to happen. So if we hit start, and you hit left on the D-pad, it pulls up what are considered loadouts. And we have three options right here. What this is, is a way to save a specific structure of your class that you want to come back and reuse at a later time. How early we are on right now, it may not be that useful. Um, Although it is a way to sort of quickly recall guns that you want to use. Uh, but how you do it, hit left on the D-pad, and then when you hit A to save new, um, it's going to save all of this gear, all of these weapons. And so you can come up. There's a couple options. Uh, using the D-pad changes icons and color. You have some customization over that. And the more you do, you can unlock more of these. Um, so what I've done is I have a couple for each of the subclasses that there are. But I'll just put this on to show this here. But while we're leveling up, I'm probably not going to be using this all that much. Uh, okay, let's see what we're doing with our journey. Because we got actually some decent stuff done. I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay. Apply shaders and upgrade a tracking module. And... With the shaders, we actually unlocked... Although I thought we already did that. Never mind, I'll come back. I, there's there's so much stuff happening. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going up to the next Guardian rank. So we still need... Collect Legendary Shards, Complete Bounties, and Purchase Weapons. So let's go see if we can purchase some weapons. I think we might have to go do some different activities to unlock some stuff to be able to go buy some weapons, but let's let's see. Talk to this guy. We already got some bounties from him. Armor Synthesis Introduction. Folks are saying Ada One's back. Don't remember her leaving, Banshee grumbles, his eyes narrow, but he doesn't stop repairing the auto rifle on his desk. Come to think of it, I guess I didn't see her for a while. Anyway, I hear she's asking Guardians for help. Got some new project in the works. Something about programmable matter and Europa? The Fallen, too. Hard to keep the details straight, but I'm glad she's keeping busy. The servos in his hand whir quietly as he works on the weapon. Maybe pay her a visit. Whatever she's making, I'm sure it's worth your time. She's always been a special talent. We'll go talk to her at some point. Um, so we need some legendary shards to be able to buy guns from him, which we don't have a whole lot of right now. Um, there's a couple different ways to get them. One, we're going to hit start. Um, and what we can do is we can delete some guns that we maybe don't want to use anymore. Or we have duplicates of. So right now we've got this shotgun and we see we actually have another version of it. It's a little bit of a lower level, which isn't that big of a deal. Um, but usually what I do here is I would look at the perks that this one has and the perks that this one has. And then get rid of the one that has the one that I like the least. So I'll take a look at this guy. Defeating targets partially reloads the magazine, and hitting an enemy with every pellet increases melee damage. I think I like that one a little bit better than these guys. Weapon gains bonus stability handling while the wielder is in motion and increase stats based on your subclass. So, you can choose those if you want. I don't want it, so I'm going to dismantle it. Notice when you do that, you get some legendary shards that you can use. So when you do that enough, you'll get enough to buy stuff. But let's see... I'm going to just go ahead and delete some of this other stuff that I have for now. I don't really need these blue ones. I 
feel kind of bad about deleting some purple things, but to be honest, oftentimes these ones that we've gotten are ones that we can get pretty easily at a later time. So I'm just going to go ahead and dismantle some more to get a couple more legendary shards. You don't get any shards for getting rid of blue stuff, but that's all right. I'll get rid of this guy. And then between these two, eh, I kind of like the look of this one a little bit better. Uh, maybe let's, <clears throat> I'll get rid of this guy. So let's see where we're at. We're on our journey, go to initiate. We collected legendary shards. So we got those. So now we have to buy some weapons and we have to complete bounties. So let's see. How about let's do this. Let's buy a couple additional bounties because I think some of the ones that he had won't necessarily work for us. So we can buy a couple extras. We'll do that. Okay, so let's see what the options are. So we need to get shotgun kills, hand cannon Stocks kills, and rocket launcher kills. Well, I think we have a shotgun. Shotgun and hand cannon we got on the same. Let's see if there's a different one we can work on. Rocket launcher, sidearm, kinetic weapon, machine gun. Okay, so we'll have to just stick with doing two at a time and then we can switch out our uh, rocket launcher and all of that. So in the meantime, I guess what I'll do is I'll go, maybe I'll go do a strike. Uh, usually strikes are a pretty good way to get uh, legendary weapons because that's ultimately what you're going to need to get legendary shards. So we're going to play a Vanguard Ops playlist. Notice we're going to be using our uh, new subclass, which will be fun. If you didn't notice, while we were uh, when we unlocked our subclasses, we unlocked a couple of different uh, emblems. I'm going to go ahead and put that put the void on because that's what we're playing right now. And then actually, this is going to be similar to uh, managing your guns and your gear. If you get too many of these, this is going to fill up. So you can delete ones you don't want. These are ones you can go uh, over to the collections tab and re repurchase at a later time if you want to come back to it. While we're getting ready to fly in, let's see what's... Uh, we'll visit Ada at a later time. She's the one that gave us these threader bounties. Guardian, we've picked up a high gain transmission. Origin point is somewhere along the coast, this is a good one. near the Cosmodrome. That's Rasputin, the AI Warmind. If I'm understanding him correctly, it's a distress call. There are so few ballet fans left. So by. few ballet It'd fans. It'd be a shame to lose him. This is a bit of an older strike. One that I enjoy. Notice we've been here before. One can't afford another Omnigold situation. Get in there, assess the threat, and aid Rasputin. A threat to the war mind is a threat to the city as well. This has a couple new mechanics that we haven't uh, seen before. That can be kind of fun. So 
this is actually similar to some public events that exist where you this satellite lands and you have to protect it. Um, but right now we're uh, it's part of the strike. Okay. Oh yeah, we have our new subfire. So that's my grenade. It creates like this vortex on the ground of purple light. I'll get to throw my shield. <laughs> kind of sick. Oh yeah, and then we get to see if we put our shield down and get an overshield. I'm actually gonna come kind of get these uh orbs of light. Try to get our super Sorry, pretty fast. But these sequences are incredibly complex. Plus, I'm actually not that great at math, so... With these, uh, rocket, or these, uh, ships, you can shoot the gun off the front. Well, I'm not actually getting any kills with the guns I need to get kills with, so I'm gonna go up a little bit close and play fast and loose. Got that. Now on to the next part. Going into the bunker. Anyone with a radio could have picked up Rasputin's distress call. If we don't shut it down, half the Cosmodrome could be at his front door. Coming into a room here where we gotta shoot some waves of enemies. Get some shotgun kills. Where'd you go, bro? I had no idea that there was a little wall card over here. <laughs> Let's take these guys out. I can try to override his system locks, but Rasputin's reaction so in here, might be once we clear these enemies, this little thing will open up and we gotta shoot it to blow it up. Next part's kind of fun, although it is also a little bit tough. There's an arc orb we have to pick up and bring back over Someday here. we'll establish communications with the world. Alright, who's going? You got a hook pressure. Understand. If we are ever to reach a second goal, it will be with Rasputin at our side. These arc uh these electric things will hurt you a lot if you get hit by them. So, better to sort of wait and let one person do the running. There's going to be some enemies that pop up. Alright. 
There we go. On to the next spot. That one can get pretty hectic. Whoa! <laughs> that didn't even do what I wanted. That did. Try to get some special in there so I can actually kill some people with the. Uh, As a fellow the shotgun. inorganic life form, I just want to know that Rasputin has a much better setup than I do. He has a secret bunker with space weapons. I live in your backpack. I know, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm running. This is the boss room up here. We're gonna fight a big flying shank. Shotgun kills. I haven't even used my super yet. Let's do that now. Oh no. There's a cool six shield. That was pretty awesome. Oh no. Yeah. Nice, we got a Vanguard engram. You know, they probably built that from that scrap of the cargo. It's lucky that it managed to work as well as it did. Nice, we got some uh some more stuff. It was pretty big for a shank. All right, we want to make sure we uh, <clears throat> we give out our commendations. Best In any dress. case, Thanks, Guardian, man. that was impressive work. The skies this will remain good. free of weapons for the time being. I'll do this old scale. Huh, I had the least amount of kills, but I'm 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 okay with that. Cool. Let's see where we're at now. We got a couple of guns. We got a battle rifle. Let me put that one on. Um, got a grenade launcher. Uh, actually, I forgot. We need to keep this on because we're doing bounties. Since we got another grenade launcher, I'm actually going to... Um, I, I feel very difficult about deleting stuff. Because both of those are kind of cool. Um, hmm. I don't want all these. Let's get rid of this Snorri. I think we can probably, we'll get plenty of uh, fusion rifles at a later time. Um, to buy a gun, we need 
30 legendary shards, so we still need a couple more things. What do I want to run? Um, in, do, 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 do. I'll do one, uh, yeah. Let's do a, what's it called? Gambit. We can show what that looks like. I'm going to go get a couple bounties. I, I don't know if I'll actually get any of them, but um, it's always good to do, give you some extra experience. There, uh, we got one of our bounties done. Notice we got 12 of our 15 shotgun kills. We need more rocket launcher kills and more kinetic weapon kills. Actually, those don't even give us what we want. Um, we need rocket launcher kills and bow kills, which we don't even have a bow. Oh well. At some point, we leveled up to the next level in the season pass. So we're going to get our upgrade modules that we'll use at a later time. Does it say how many bounties we need to do from... I'm worried it might be more than we have access to right now. Although I think we might be able to buy a bow. It just says complete gunsmith bounties. It doesn't say how many, so I guess we'll we'll try one of them and we'll see. Same with weapons. I don't know how many we need. Taking our time. Notice we're up to seven upgrade modules. We've got a couple enhancement cores, which are going to be used to upgrade our armor and weapons at some point. In our engram tracker, we see we've got one Vanguard engram we can unlock and two Crucible. Actually, let's do that, because that should give us some uh, legendary shards if we get, decide to get rid of it. What's up, Shock? So Drifter in here, he's the Gambit guy. Call me Drifter. We'll get just these bounties, defeat challenging combatants, defeat enemies, summon primevals, and solar ignitions. I don't know if I'll get those, but um, let's go talk to Ada. She's the one that uh, sort of allows us to unlock gear or uh, different things Before for gear to change the look of them. Guardians, I watched you thrash through your collective existence. Loss never so much as hindered your destructive stride. The Red War, a vanguard's death, mere hiccups. Back then, I judged you as callous. I assumed it was easy for you to rebuild, because your condition makes you incapable of caring about anything ephemeral. Now, wow. I Tell find how you myself really feel. in a dark hour, and I must admit I am envious of your tenacity. The Black Armory was founded to stand against the coming shadow, but when the darkness returned and our defenses faltered, my work made no difference. Humanity's focus shifted to the stars, and now the forges are gone. If I hope to maintain the armory's legacy, it's clear I must build something new. The fallen refugees who fled Europa tell of some unfinished Braytech research on matter programming. I believe it could be a new start for the armory. I've used the Vanguard network to download as much as I can. But some branches can't be accessed remotely. And Europa remains a dangerous front for the Lightless. I need you to enter the Braytech facilities and download the data manually. Cool. 
Ada tells you that the Black Armory forges have been lost. In their absence, she is working on a new project. Some unfinished research she unearthed in the Braytech, in the Braytech archives on Europa. She says she needs help retrieving the last remaining research data from Europa's surface, as it's not accessible via the network. Travel to the Braytech facility on Europa and recover the data. Cool. Here every week, these uh, update. They have different sorts of uh, shaders that you can buy. This dead orbit one is actually kind of awesome. I think this is a black and white one, which is a little bit more rare. I'm not going to get them right now because I'm running kind of low on glimmer, but... Until it's next always time. cool to come and check those out. All right. We'll head to the Vanguard and the Crucible vendors to see what drops we got. And then hopefully after... Oh, I forgot. Good boy protocol. I think we should have enough to buy... Uh, Buy some weapons. If we get rid of stuff after getting these drops. I decided to run all the way over here. We could have fast traveled. It would have gotten us here probably in a bit of a similar time. Um, let's see, how much do we have? We got 24. Let's go talk to Shax, the crucible guy. Time to fight, Guardian. What do you need? He's got a couple of engrams for us. A gun. Oh, cool. A stasis weapon. <clears throat> that might even be a sidearm, which we need. Oh, a submachine gun, which is still actually pretty cool. Nice. <laughs> wow, I'm actually really excited about that. Uh, so this is Stasis, which is a subclass that we won't have access to, but we still get some guns. And this has probably my favorite perk on it. It's called Headstone. When you get a headshot with it, it creates a sort of this large ice shard right where the enemy died that then you can blow up and it shatters and hurts things around it. Yeah, this is awesome. I'll certainly take this. Uh, I'll put stability this one on. Neat. That's actually really cool. 1645. Let's put this guy on. My red jacks are spooked. And then let's go see. And well, I don't know that we're. We might have to do some more stuff to unlock some more shards. Good to have you back. Let's see what Shax has for us. Or er, Zavala. Ooh, he gave us a helmet and a shader. Hmm. What's the latest report on Sabathun's boom? You know, actually, I think I'll go ahead and get rid of this guy. I don't think we're going to need him for now. That's three. Uh, do we have one more thing we can delete? I don't know, man. Oh, that's so tough. Uh, mm, no, I think I'll wait. And then I think, yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. Um, those are all kind of cool guns and ones that I don't want to get rid of right now for a couple of reasons. So let's go try a gambit match. Select it up here, gambit. And we're going to 4v4 co-op. So I mentioned Gambit is a mixture between PvE and PvP. It's, you're on a team of four and you're playing against a team of four. And how does it work? You start off the game sort of on separate sides, not really interacting with each other, and you kill enemies. You kill the enemies that you might see when you're out on patrol. Uh, when you kill the enemies, they drop shards that you pick up and you have to go deposit at a centralized area. Once you deposit a certain amount, um, if you deposit a certain amount at a time, you get to unlock some debuffs that go against the other team. And, 
I actually don't know exactly how, but there there is an opportunity. I think when you deposit a, like maybe fifteen at a time, you get open a portal to be able to go to the other to the enemy side and actually try and kill them. So while they're killing enemies, they now have to try and kill you too. Let's see. To win, be the first team to summon and defeat your primeval. Ultimately, after you deposit as many shards as you can, there will be a big boss that comes out that you want to defeat before the other team does the same thing on their side. So, defeat foe, defeated foes will drop moats that you can pick up. Um, if you die, you'll drop them, so plan accordingly. Uh, when you have moats, you want to go bank them. Um, once you bank a certain number, you'll summon that big primeval. When you uh, bank enough moats at, at a time, I think it's 5 and 10 and maybe 15, you summon a blocker that basically prevents the other team from... Uh, from depositing their moats. And then finally, uh, as your team banks moats, an invasion portal will open, allowing you to go to the other side to attack that team, and similarly, they'll be able to come to you and attack you. I need to remember, we're going for rocket launcher kills. Oh, yeah. Kinetic weapon kills, rocket launcher kills. Yeah, well, we're not going to... Ho hopefully one of those will be able to do it. And hopefully this counts as a kinetic weapon. All right, Mavericks. Ready to see what you're fighting today? Cabal Every game you play is a different map and also uh, sort of a random selection Legend of enemies. Says the Cabal oh, Empire holds vast Athenaeum world. You get to oh, see the other team on the other side. Although you don't actually get to do anything with them yet. Transmat prop. Drop those targets, take the moats, and bank them. All right. Cool ice area. So yeah, we start off by killing uh, enemies over here. Notice uh, when you kill them, they drop these moats that you go and pick up. So I've got five moats right now. I can go deposit that. Actually, let's do that. I think. Yeah, so at, at five moats, you deploy a small blocker for the other team. Hey, you're losing moats. Ice the blocker. So that also means we need to spend some time protecting our area. So I got 10 notes. I'm going to go deposit those. I just sent a medium blocker. So we just unlocked a portal, which means we can go over and kill our enemies. I'm not going to do that right now, because I'm... Oh yeah, that's one of those stasis shards right there. Give him hell! 
Uh oh. Oh, then there's the enemy. No. Okay, at least I, I deposited my stuff on time. See, that DJ Pal's a guy that came in from the other side and took us down. Invaders off the field. The blockers must die, brother. Man, these guys are. Well, you know, why? Why not? I'll, I'll go without killing some people. This is what the take revel. This is not gonna go well. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I killed somebody. I'll take it. Invaders gone. Get up next Primeval, which means they just have to kill it to be able to win. Putting up a blocker, and I'm gonna go see if I can. Hope you're proud. I embrace the darkness. Take out those guardians. All right, I got somebody. We're not doing the best with our depositing. Time for a prime evil. Alright. This is what the take and feel. Revel in this. Ah. I think while the Prime Eagle's out, if they send a blocker, we need to go kill these. Boys Focus on the Prime Eagle. Uh -oh. Watch your back. Invader income. Enemy invader is down. Nice, we got him. Uh-oh. So we need to go... Uh, 
It is hectic. I'm evil compromised. Burn it down. And so you'll see, I believe it's at the top when I'm not in doing it shows how far along they are and how far along we are. Take down that prime east and this gambit's you. Vader on the field. Careful. The enemy team's about to win this. Get moving. Enemy invader down. You can relax. Gambit's over. Opposing Ooh. team put their prime evil on ice. Alright, they beat us. I'm okay with that though. I got a couple of kills. <laughs> nice. That was pretty fun. So once again, we want to make sure we leave our, uh, uh, let's see, best dress. This guy looks kind of cool. And I'll go over here and see, let's see, EJ Phantom did a good job with modes. That'd be offense. I'll leave this guy a, a note too. All right, cool. Let's see what we have. Did we get anything cool? We got some stuff, nothing quite that we needed right now. Um, let's check, check our bounties. Did we get any of those? We got a couple. All right, we got a new season rank, so we got some more enhancement cores. So let's see where we're at. And let's check our inventory. We still just have those 27. Um, I think the drifter should give us some... A drop, so let's go there. <laughs> and maybe that'll give us what we need. Put that guy on. Uh, I guess we can delete him. That should give us our 30. No, I think we should be able to buy something now. So we leveled up a drifter. He should have an engram for us. Gambit's always looking for guardians. You in? Oh, two for us. Nice. Cool, cool helmet. Got the light. Always knew we wouldn't be the only ones, but I see what that looks like. Them. I haven't played a lot of Gambit, so I don't really know what the gear looks like. That's actually pretty sick. And then we got a hand cannon. Which, yeah, I'll take that. All right, let's go see if we can buy a gun. And if we can, then we all we really need to do is go finish uh, a couple of our bounties for the gunsmith. If we can buy a gun, I think I'm going to buy a bow, which, like I mentioned before, my favorite guns in the game. I think we just need 30 legendary shards to buy something. Let's get started. Nice, yes, and we can get buy a bow, hell yeah. All right. Let's buy one of these. Good eye. Keep the 
Oh, okay, so we did. We just needed that one. And in this case, I'm gonna I'm gonna put on that bow. And then I guess uh, oh that is look at that man. Cryptoarchaeology, like agriculture. That's we actually kind of wild looking. One. All right, let's go. Uh, let's do like a public event or something and get some rocket launcher kills to finish up our quests. Where do we want to go? Where have we not gone? Looks like we unlocked the moon. Let's maybe go. I think we might have to do a. Oh no, we can go here. Cool. I, guess it's I don't know. It, it might start us on a, a quest or something when we go there. We've been to Neptune. Can we go to the Dreaming City? Looks like it. Well, yeah, let's go to the Dreaming City. It's a cool. It's a cool spot. Go here. We'll get a couple kills with our uh, bow and our rocket launcher. Let's see. I'll leave this one on. Mm, reduce the bow, the draw time. Nah, I don't think so. We can level this up, but like I said, I kind of want to save these guns for now. This is my common dilemma. Guess I'm a bit of a collector. The aesthetics here are pretty awesome too. Yeah, look at this shit. Notice right away we see there's a lost sector over there we can come back to. But we're here for the public event. I'll go up here and see if we can get our. Uh, How much time do we have before? A minute and a half. So actually, since I need rocket launcher kills, I'm just gonna shoot my rocket right now. And then I'm gonna get this thing so it automatically raises it, uh, reloads me. So this is our first bow. Left trigger zooms in, pull down the uh, right trigger to pull it back, and then there's usually like an ideal time that you want to re release it. As you play, you'll get used to it, but I find them very, very satisfying. I don't think I've ever used this bow before, but. Nice. And that actually might be the bounty that we needed. Mm, maybe they want us to do one more. No, okay. That should be our uh, our guardian unit. I'll stick around and do this uh, public event though. Is our main helmet? All hands in the field be advised. Take an incursion incoming. I actually don't know a whole lot about how to do the uh, legendary public event on this one, or the heroic public event. 
This is one where you need to come in and you need to kill. These are called blades. These like big black balls. Here's a. Oh, I forgot. Oh yeah, I think when you come out of the come out of that blade area, you have to shoot that large blade in the middle. Kind of forgot. That's not a big deal. You don't always need to do the heroic. Diamond lamps or something from the stasis subclass. I don't know that we'll get this heroic, we'll just finish this up. I don't entirely know what's going on. I'm just going to kill him. Alright, I think we got to go over this direction now and finish this up. Public at All right, let's uh, head back to orbit. We'll get our, we'll level up our guardian rank. We'll view journey, go to initiate. Let me see, we bought weapons and we completed the enhancement cores which means it's time to go level up. Go to the tower. And let's put on the top gear we have to see what level we're at now. 1684, 1692, 1691, 96, 79, 98. Let's actually put this guy on and we'll level this guy up. Just because it looks kind of cool to have an exotic on. We've sort of been neglecting him. 1687. We got a 94. 99. Okay. Night 1692. We're doing, uh, we're making waves. Completed a couple other bounties. Got a gunsmith engram, man.
Ooh, it looks like we lost left something at the postmaster. Let's see what we left behind. Hi there. A helmet. Good luck, good luck, good luck. It is a little bit higher. We'll put that on for now. Alright, time to level up our guardian rank. Nice. And, you know, I think we will even still get quite a few of these done. Let's see. So we did that. Let's go take a look at our journey. So we're going to have to, let's see, we've already done the collections one. Collect weapons and collect armor. Nice. We needed to get 10 legendary weapons, 10 legendary armor. And then we're going to need to uh, acquire bounties, complete Vanguard Ops, commend players, complete Vanguard Mounties, meet Shax and Drifter, which we've all done. Man, we could probably do this today, but I'll, 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 I'll leave that for... Uh, a quick follow-up, and then we'll probably sort of revisit and talk about what all we've done. But nice. Awesome. What does uh, Zavala have to say to us? Oh, wait. He, he, he's giving us stuff for the next range. We're not going to do that yet. So we'll come back to him next time. Nice! So we completed Guardian Rank 4 today. We're Guardian Rank 4. We uh, unlocked a new subclass, our void, uh, our void subclass, Sentinel. We also unlocked Solar, but we didn't use it. We got a couple new fragments and aspects. Ones that gave us overshield and benefits when we have an overshield. We got a new grenade. Um, what else? We got a stasis weapon that has headstone, which is... You know, probably my favorite perk. Tell me we bought our first bow. There's a number of other weapons you can buy from the gunsmith. We leveled up. We're level 1692 now. What's the latest report on Sabathun's brew? We're making uh, we're making good waves. So that's it. We have completed Guardian Rank Four. Next time, Guardian Rank Five. Then after that, Fire Team Finder and uh, Beyond. Try out some raids, try out some uh, dungeons. See, uh, see what all we got. Need Thanks for watching. You. Come back again next time while we finish out our, uh, our road to unlocking Fire Team Finder. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about what's coming next. Thanks for watching.